Welcome to Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com. I'm Kevin Sinclair and this is Weekly Film Impressions. So uh, just about a year ago, I was writing a 2021 recruiting primer at the running back position and Audric Estime was a running back I listed as someone to maybe keep an eye on. Um, you know, and for, for good reason. He came from New Jersey non-public group four division where St. Peter's Prep and Bergen Catholic are. And he came from St. Joseph Regional, which is where Howard Cross came from. Um, he had a strong junior year, um, but, you know, I just wasn't sure if Notre Dame would offer him. But started hearing more buzz about him this fall. Uh, he was churning uh, over 230 yards per game. Um, so I went and had a look uh, for some full game film uh, yesterday when Notre Dame extended a scholarship offer looking for a second running back. Um, and I came across this game film versus St. Peter's Prep. Uh, they were ranked in the top 25 nationally heading into the season. Um, three and four star prospects without throughout the defense he was competing against in George Rooks, KJ Miles, Avery Powell, and others. So I had a look and it really, you know, for this bigger back, you'd think he'd just be a north south guy, short yardage, uh, uh, short yardage option at the college level. That's really not what he is. He has more tools than that. Let's have a look at some of those highlights now. First, we'll have a look at Estime's sort of quickness in space here. Uh, finding a crease, finding some space, um, showing good burst and good speed for such a big back at 230 pounds. Now here, uh, an outside carry, following his blockers, which he's really good at, um, breaking up field. And look at all the defenders he makes miss in space, showing really good leg drive. Uh, always churning up yardage. Really liked uh, what I see from SMA. And here, uh, showing off his receiving ability, they do a lot of these uh, quick dump off passes on screens out of play action. Uh, does a good job of following his blockers, like I said, is a good power back. Um, and they do this often. Now, we see that again here in short yardage, um, play action, where he slips through line, follows his blockers after the catch. Pretty sure handed guy. I haven't seen him drop any balls in the game film I've watched. Um, just another trick in his hat. So now we're going to have a look at his power. Uh, SMA uh, coming up through here, um, battling through a safety who had stepped up in the box. A nice straight arm here. Um, just taking multiple shots, dropping his shoulders when he needs to. Um, yeah, obviously this kid has a lot of power at 230 pounds. This was late in the game here. Watch the power and the leg drive from Estime here. Late in the fourth quarter, he had taken many, many carries in this game, taken many, many shots. Uh, late in the fourth quarter, showing that kind of effort is pretty impressive. Uh, and to sort of wrap it up, just an inside carry. Watch the burst uh, when he finds a seam, uh, squeezes through a gap, and he's churning up a lot of yardage. So a uh, well-rounded back here in Estime. So Audric Estime, really a lot more than just that inside grinder, short yardage guy, as I said. He's got a lot more tools. He can catch the ball. He's really great in space. He can make you miss, uh, all with great size. Um, and also, you know, Logan Diggs, also in the class, a really well-rounded guy. Did a lot of reporting on him this year. Um, really, really tough running back. Uh, can carry a big workload. So if Notre Dame were to be able to add both SMA and Diggs in this class, um, I would think that, that it's an exceptional running back class for Notre Dame, especially when you consider what Notre Dame already has. Kyron Williams, breakout player this year. Chris Tyree showed more than capable as a freshman uh, to play against top competition. Sebo Flemister won a game ball. Another guy who shows good toughness. So um, really you'd have a deep stable of running backs with loads of eligibility and a wide variety of tools and sizes uh, great for different situations. Um, but that's it for this week's weekly film impressions. I'm Kevin Sinclair at Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com.